Saludos familia. I hope you are having a fantastic day. The best day ever. I uh, yesterday I did a video and I figured you know today I show you something different, something about my favorite apps, the apps that help me, the ones that I use the most in my phone, the ones that help me on my business. Like I said, yesterday I did a video about creating quick graphics uh, for social media for your business to help you. I don't know, just to, you know, if now that you're at home, that you're doing some other things, uh, maybe you want to learn something new, maybe you learn a new program. And I, I want to go with the same theme today. Maybe you, you know, maybe these apps, one of these apps uh, help you be more productive. Maybe you learn about a new app that, uh, that you didn't know before. So, hi Adele. So hopefully, uh, I hope you, thank you, thank you for joining Adele. Um, so hopefully one of these apps help you out. So what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my iPhone real quick here. I'm gonna bring my iPhone and uh, give me a second here. So I can show you real quick so first of all I, you know like most phones right now you you have an email uh, for for me uh, google gmail is the go to uh, what i love about google is just like any other other email i'm using my own domain name my angel at angelanderson.com and uh, i can a have access in any computer uh, any iphone online so i love that now, Google Calendar is the same thing. Basically, anything that needs to be in the calendar, anything that matters goes here. Anything anything that, you know, appointments with the family, with the kids, uh, business appointment, anything, any meeting goes there. And talking about meeting, you know, I'm going to be jumping around, but I'm going to try to keep in order. Uh, I'm using, um, for some reason, actually, I mean, yeah, for some reason, I'm using an old phone, my uh, iPhone 7. The iPhone 11 Pro didn't want to connect to the computer, so I couldn't show you the screen. But I, I double check all the apps, and they're the same. <clears throat> but one thing, talking about calendars, one thing that I use a lot is Calendly. I use it in the website. I use it for, uh, for meetings. It's one of the easiest ways to book a meeting with somebody else. Meaning, let, let me explain. If you don't know what Calendly is, just in case you don't know, uh, let, let me explain real quick. So Calendly is a service. They have a, a free and a pay version. Calendly is a service that you can... Uh, it, it basic, so the service looks your calendar, looks your availability in your calendar. You can set, let's say, I'm going to be available for appointments between 9 to 5. And if you don't, if if Calendly looks in your calendar, you don't have uh, appointments, then it allows uh, the person using a specific link to book an appointment uh, that you prescribe. Basically, you you will have to set the time, the places that you are, whether it's phone or video calls or in a specific address, or you are going to let the user or the person using the link uh, pick an address. So you have that freedom. It's not like somebody just going to book an appointment and you don't know why they're booking an appointment. So Calendly is very useful for that. Let me, uh, let me do this real quick here. Oh, Adele is asking, let me see here, here real quick here. Adele is asking how I am screen sharing. So I'm using Ecamm Adele. Ecamm Live, Ecamm Live is the one I'm screen sharing. Is I, I I really like that that Ecamm Live. I really really like it. Now, so going back to the apps, Rev. This one I use it to to record conversation. Meaning, I uh, like right now I am recording what I'm talking about. So I have a meeting with a client. Uh, or I have an idea that I want to I, I want to capture. I record. I press record, and when I'm done, I save it. But basically, what it happens is, let me save it. You can save and transcribe. I'm not going to transcribe this this uh, this recording, but I can transcribe it. 
it sends it to a service it sends it to a service that it, it charges you a dollar a minute a, do, a dollar per minute and then you get back a word document you get back a word document with the you welcome Adel you welcome um, you get back a word document with everything you say speeding things up on content creation, article creation, ideas, etc. That's one thing that I use. Now, Ref, if I want to record calls, obviously the person will know that you are recording, but that, that's what I use, uh, Ref Call Recorder. By the way, if you, if you want me to go in more in depth, if, you, if I'm going too fast, or if you need me to explain something different, just let me know. Uh, I'm just going through the list of the apps that I use and why I, I use them. Hopefully, you find them a little bit beneficial. And uh, yeah, I'm drinking coffee. By the way, I, I'm skip. I'm doing intermittent fasting, and lately, what I decided is that uh, we st after we stop eating at night, I am skipping breakfast and then I'm having a good lunch and a, a decent dinner. But I'm actually watching what I ate. I don't know if you knew, but I lost a lot of weight. And uh, at the beginning of this year, instead of like most people, a lot of people go into that fitness mindset. A lot of people go into that fitness mindset. And instead of me losing weight, <laughs> I started gaining weight. So I got to I gotta get back into the routine of doing things, uh, doing things uh, that, that matters. Thank you, Adele. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so going back to the apps, the call recorder, I use it when I'm having a conversation with a client over the phone and let, let's say I'm, I'm interviewing that client uh, for a marketing meeting or we're going to create an article, we're going over a promotion. That way I can capture everything, the call is transcribed, then I can actually read it, read exactly what happened and then nothing gets lost in translation. So that's what I use it. Lightroom is basically what I use to edit all my pictures. I also, when I do, uh, I take pictures for clients, I share the link through uh, the Lightroom uh, app so I don't have to download it, upload it to Dropbox. It just makes things a little bit more uh, fast and more expedient. Plus, I can upload the pictures in the computer and I can have access in the phone, I can have access in, in the iPad, so it's really nice. My, my browser of choice is Chrome. Google Voice is something I, I, I started using recently again and I'm going to tell you why I'm I'm not I am leaving it in the my favorite apps. So I used to use Twilio uh, for a business uh, phone number and basically it's a service that you can customize for multiple extension extensions etc etc you can customize that service a lot. And uh but I found myself spending too much time managing the server, customizing. If you call, press one for sale, press two for support, uh, sending text messages, instead of just actually running my business. So Google Voice, uh, if you have a, a, a Google account, you get Google Voice. The minutes are inexpensive, and that's the business number that I'm using right now. And I can text, I can call from the Google Voice, I don't have to give my personal number to people on the street, so I'm still separating that that business and private life. So that's one of the reasons why I, I, I'm leaving Google Voice. Notes, just basically notes is just where I capture everything. I'm not gonna leave them open because you will see everything that I, I capture. I cap everything, all my thoughts. I have a, a today note, I have one for marketing, I have one, for, you know, you name it, one for things, basically every project. Reminders, man, if you're not using reminders, you're missing out. Anything that you have to remember, you tell Siri, Siri, hey Siri, reminder to do X, Y, Z, and they will tell you, you don't even have to type it. Uh, just, you can create, with the new iOS app, you can create categories, like, like you see here, business, p p family. I even, we even share, let me show you, we even share, Things that we need, like take the recycle out, take the trash out. We even share that for the family through all the uh, iOS apps. And wh whoever gets it done, it just ticks the the, uh, the reminder that is done. So it's pretty good. Messages is a go-to. Messages for me is like the the you have to like 
you know, you got a text for business these days. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Facebook is a big part. I do a lot of, uh, a lot of engagement with DJs is in the house. Who's the, who, DJ? Who's DJ Adele? Who's DJ? Let's see. I, I, okay, let's see. I, I don't see who's. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can watch who's watching here. Let me see here, but. Let me close the, I open the, the window. Let me close it real quick here. Let me close this window. I open the window and I shouldn't. I open the, uh, the browser and I shouldn't open the browser. Anyway, so Facebook is just a big part, something right now that I, I just, and Messenger, I don't, I'm not gonna open so nothing private goes online, but Messenger is just, big you know engaging helping uh, video calls through Facebook messenger chats is just a big one hey James thank you for joining now I'm seeing the comments now I'm seeing the comments thank you for joining my friend thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay so LinkedIn LinkedIn I'm actually doubling down on LinkedIn this year I'm doing uh, I'm doing a lot of jabbing on LinkedIn uh, I'm trying to provide value it just it's a business, you know, I, I help businesses, so I'm trying to go more to LinkedIn. Twitter, don't neglect Twitter. Twitter is a big one still. I, uh, you know, people neglect it for some reason, but Twitter is being very helpful for me. Uh, Instagram is just, you know, that's one of the apps that you open every day. I still do. Facebook apps, uh, the Facebook page apps is basically a uh, most most to go he says let's get some sports event going after the yes 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 some sports events yes sir so i manage uh try to manage as many as many uh accounts as you can see uh through the app because it's the easier way to manage um, facebook pages google docs is a go-to and if you're not using it you're missing out YouTube, basically what, what I do to learn and share. So every time I upload a video, I go here. Wait, uh, let, let's, let's take a step back, not just for business, for personal. I learn a lot through, the, through uh, YouTube. I go and search anything I wanna learn, but every time I upload a video, I go here. Um, I'm actually in the wrong channel, so let me switch accounts here. And this is one of the beauties of this one. You can you can pick a, a, any accounts so with one app. You can manage multiple accounts with Instagram. You can manage multiple accounts, so you can go from there. So I'm gonna go to my channel, and every time I upload a video, I go here. And if I want to share something, I go go here, share, copy the link, and I go and start typing on social media. Or I open the notes app and then I start typing and I have in my marketing uh, notes that I have I have one liners that I use quite often etc so if you if you are uploading to YouTube definitely you need to have the YouTube dashboard open uh, the YouTube studio app there is a most a most for analytics for comments that's how you engage with comments like this one here it says uh, Love the review, Angel. So happy. So this one is about the productivity journal I reviewed recently called Go Crazy. That, that one's pretty good. Uh, voice memo app. Here is one thing that I do when I can. When I can. Then it's N, N two, two ends. Two ends. Hey, oh snap, there's your videos. Ha, yes, Adele. Uh, so voice memo apps is a, another one that I use quite often, uh, especially when I'm not transcribing or I'm or I use it as a secondary audio source or audio recorder when I'm having a meeting. That's a good one for memo apps. So you you know you can see some meetings that are about 39 minutes long. Long, uh, definitely the photo apps is a most for pictures. But here's something that I do. So basically, this is something that I. I I don't know if you use it this way. So I save a lot of the, a lot of the picture of my, of my favorites. So my favorite is the picture that I use a lot for on social media. But recently, and this one is very helpful, content for repurpose. I created a, a, a an album and I just save them there. What I whatever whatever content I want to repurpose. So it's a little bit easier, more productive, more time efficient for me to find the content that I want to use. Um, that I want to use uh, in the future. 
So that's some, that's some of the ways that I use this app. I think there are about 35. Um, I found, I hope you found this, uh, this one useful. And if you, if you want me to explain something more in depth about a specific app that the ones that I show, actually, you know what? I didn't finish. Let me didn't finish. It goes without saying, I must, you know, let me open here. It goes without saying, let me go here and show you something here. I didn't finish because I want to show you this one. It goes without saying, Amazon got to go on the, on, on every phone. Evernote, I still use Evernote a lot, a lot. I still use Evernote. It's like my filing cabinet. Let me, let me explain. I used to have these big ca uh, filing cabinets. Uh, the, you know, the one that you have hanging folders. And one day I was moving when we were living in, uh, at that point, at, at this time, we were living in Las Vegas. And uh, I told Noelle, I said, hey, you know what? This is it. This is, this is it. Thank you, Adele. Thank you. Uh, yes, very good. Thank you. Um, uh, so we were living in Las Vegas and I told Noelia, this is, this is it. We're not carrying any more filing cabinets. So I started scanning everything in through Evernote. So Evernote for me is my electronic filing cabinet. I organize it just like I was organizing a, a traditional hanging folder cabinet through years, months, if it's business, if it's personal, if it's warranties. So even the warranties, my friend, I save the warranties there. And whenever I need anything, I just search in, uh, on Evernote and I find it because Evernote is search images and, and PDFs and the text and I can find it. So it's a lifesaver. I don't keep it, none of my papers. I, I, as long as you pay that yearly fee with Evernote because at this point I have a, a lot of documents there. Uh, you can encrypt things. You can access Evernote from your phone, from the web, from I love these apps that allow you to have to be location independent. You don't have to be attached to a specific location. So that's one app that I use and I love the most. And with that, I want to show you one that I use in combination with Evernote, which is uh, 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 scannable. Basically, I put a paper on top and it scans it and it saves it. I can send it to... I save it to Evernote, I can save it to an email, I can save it to the PDF, I can save it anywhere, picture, PDF, this is a lifesaver. Even my wife used it to scan my son's homeschooling document and save it to the cloud as a PDF for archi archival purposes. So the same way I use Evernote, my wife used iCloud, uh, she organized it through years and that's something uh, anybody can, you don't need Evernote, you can do Google Drive, you can do Dropbox, by the way I use Dropbox as well, Dropbox is the most. Dropbox, you know what? Dropbox is in this list. It gotta be in this list. Yeah, Dropbox is a most. WhatsApp, uh, CRM. I use, I use uh, HubSpot for my CRM, and it's one of definitely. I talked about Calendly, and last the last app I want to talk about today. But let's go over Google Drive. If you're using your Google Suite, you want to use Google Drive, uh, especially how inexpensive it is to have a couple terabytes on Dropbox or Google uh, Google Drive. And you don't need a hard drive. You don't need these devices. You don't need a hard drive that you are susceptible to failure. And Google Drive or Dropbox, you can access from anywhere. So think about those things when you think about storage. But the last app, and this one is the last one, I promise, is Grammarly. Grammarly is free, uh, but they do have a paid version, which I give you a, a lot of extra things. I have a, uh, I have a paid version, but uh, the, free, the free one works as well. You can use it online on your social media posts, when you're writing your blog post, when you're writing an email, when you send in a message. So the commas are where it's supposed to be. It's not only for people like me that English is not their, fir their first language. It's for everybody. Uh, you can adjust the tone of voice, you can adjust the audience, and it allows you to talk in first, second, third person in a better way. Uh, so that's why I use it online, I use it on the phone. So hopefully uh, you found this, uh, at least one of these apps helpful. Uh, and if you did, uh, let me know if you want me to show you something else. By the way, you know, you know that I do marketing every day, so if I can help you in anything throughout these bad times, I can give you any advice. If I can upload a video answering a marketing question or a business, you know, whether I've worked remotely for many, for a long time, so I can help with that. I can answer questions about your website, email marketing, or anything like that. And 
if I can create a video, maybe we can do a video call and we can chat and I can help you anyway. I'm not selling, but if I can help in any way, I will. With that said, my friend, I'm gonna press on with my day. I have a, I have a big to-do list. Thank you for watching. Let me know what video you would like to see from me next, if, if, at all, if any at all, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.